what's up guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll show you how to make this alternate jumpsuit so let's get started for this design of jumpsuit i'll divide my full body length measurement into two parts so the first part will be from your shoulder to right before your belly button and then the other part will be from right bef before your belly button to your ankle so next you fold your fabric into two places and then you take the measurement from your shoulder to right before your belly button for mine i have 18 inches and then i added one and a half inch so i have 19 and a half inches and then on this line i'll take my shoulder measurement so you divide your shoulder measurement by two for mine i have eight inches and then i'll mark it here and then i'll remove one from that so i'll have seven inches i'll mark it here so on this seven inches mark i'll place my tape here and then i'll mark nine inches straight i'll mark it here And then on the nine inches mark, I'll take my bust measurement. So it's your bust measurement divided by four. For mine, I have nine inches. I'll mark it here. And then on this part, I'll take my waist measurement. So you divide your waist measurement by four. For mine, I have eight and a half. And then I'll mark it here. And then I've connected my shoulder line to my bust line. And then I also connect my waistline to the bust line. So I'll mark it like this. So on this part, I'll take my armhole curve. So I'll place my tape here and then mark one inch. And then I'll draw a curved line from here, from the bust line, and connect it to the shoulder line. On the shoulder line, I'll mark out the neckline. So I'll use two and a half inches. I'll mark it here. You can use two and a half or you can use three inches. Depends on how wide you want your neckline to be. And then I'll mark eight inches. I'll mark it here. And then I'll connect both lines together. And then I'll draw a V-shaped line from here down to the neckline. So when I folded my fabric, I left 20 inches on this part. I left the 20 inches for the necktie. So I'll go ahead and extend this line down to this place. And then extend this line down to this place. And I'm going to draw a curved line from there. So I drew a curved line from here down to this place. And then from here down to this place so i'll go ahead and cut across the red line so here's the front part for the back part i folded my fabric into two and then i'll place my front bodies on it like this so after placing the front bodies on it i'll go ahead and mark it out And then when I get to the armhole, I'll extend it by one inch. And then I'll mark it here. And then I'll just flip this over. And then rule a straight line here like this. And then I'll go ahead and cut. So here's the back bodies. So I cut out another piece for the front bodies and it will serve as the facing. But if you don't have enough fabric, then you can go ahead and hem the neckline and also hem this part with your zigzag stitches. For the other part of this jumpsuit, I folded my fabric into four places and then I left three inches on this part. So you fold your fabric, you have four layers and then you leave three inches on this part. So the next thing is to take the length from right before your belly button to your ankle. For mine, I have 40 inches, and then I added three inches for seam allowance. So the next thing is to take the waist measurement. So I'll come over here and take the waist measurement. 
you divide your waist measurement by four i have eight and a half and then i'll mark it here for the hip measurement i'll use nine inches so i'll mark it here and then i'll place my tape here like this and then you divide your hip measurement by four i have ten and a half So remember I took the hip measurement on this line, so I had 10 and a half. From the hip line, I'll take the crouch length. So I'll place my tape here and then mark 14 inches. I'll mark it here. And then I'm going to drag this hip line down to this place. And then on this crouch line, I'll take my crouch extension. So I'll use the three inches I have here and then just mark it, drag it down to this place. On this part, I'll take the crouch curve. So I'll place my tape here and then mark one inch. I'll mark it here and then draw a curved line from here down to this place. So the next thing is to connect the waistline down to this place. You connect your waistline down to the hip measurement. And then on the waistline, I'll take half an inch. I'll mark it here. And then draw a slant line from here down to the half inch. Sorry, the line is not clear. Again, for the front waistline, I came down by half an inch and then drew a slant line down to the waistline. And then from the crouch extension, I'll draw a slant line from here down to the end of the pants. So the next thing is to go ahead and cut this side of the pants and I'll cut it open. And then this other part, I'll cut it from here down to this place and then from here down to this place. And then when I'm cutting, I'm cutting the first two layers. So I'm cutting only the front panel. So after cutting the front panel, which is the first two layers, I'll go ahead and extend the waistline by one inch. And then I'll extend the hip line by two inches. I'll extend the crouch length by three inches. And then I'll extend this part by one inch. I'll mark out one inch here. And on the hip line, I'll extend it by two inches. And then on this part, I'll extend it by three inches. And then for this part, I'll extend it by one inch. I'll connect the lines together. So after connecting the lines together, I'll go ahead and cut. So I'll go ahead and cut across the red line for the back panel. So after cutting, this is what I have. With the right sides facing each other, you go ahead and sew from here down to this place, and then from here down to this place. For the top part, you sew from here down to this place, and then from here down to this place. And then you sew again from here to the armhole, and then from here down to the armhole. You sew it with the right sides facing each other. So after sewing it together, you go ahead and snip all the edges and then you cut off any excess fabric. So you snip the edges so it's more relaxed. You snip all the edges. You do the same for the neckline too. You snip the edges. After snipping the edges, you flip it inside out.
for the back panel i'll go ahead and hem the top part i'll fold it in with one inch and then sew it together from here down to the other end and i'll leave the space for the elastic casing for the back bodies i cut out this elastic measuring 15 inches so it's half of my bust measurement minus three inches and then i pinned it on one edge and then i'll slide it into this part and just keep sliding it in And then you be careful so you don't lose this other part. I'll just pin it. And then when you get this part out, you go ahead and stitch this place. And then you stitch this part too. After stitching it together, I'll join the back bodies together. With the right sides facing each other, I'll join the top part to the bottom part. I'll go ahead and sew from here down to this place. And then for the front panel, you also join it together with the right sides facing each other. You sew from here down to this place. So after joining the waistline, we're going to join the sides of the jumpsuit. With the right sides facing each other, you join the sides of the jumpsuit. The next thing is to sew the inner tie area. And so we'll pin the crotch together. And then you sew from one end to the other end. After joining the sides of the jumpsuit, you go ahead and hem the bottom of the jumpsuit. And that's it. So here's the alternate jumpsuit. Please like and share this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not. I love you for watching. Thank you.